Time now to bring on Ozzy Jurek. And Ozzy, I was thinking of you this week. Uh, you know, our, one of our themes on Money Talks over the last year is be careful what you wish for. And that's in terms of the governments at provincial and federal level all working hard to hurt the real estate market, which I thought was a mistake from this point of view to do an entire country's real estate market based on Vancouver and Toronto, I think was a mistake. Uh, but boy, we've got some numbers out, and that's why I was thinking of you showing, man, those changes to the mortgage rules did exactly what you predicted they would. Man, has that taken some people out of the marketplace. Yeah, no question about it. It's, it's as you point out, the big mark, 55% of the market is Toronto and Vancouver, and we always apply these measures onto everybody. And here we talk on the one hand about affordability and helping first-time buyers, and then we make it so difficult for them to buy. Now, I predicted 25% increase or decrease in volume. Well, in the third quarter this year, CMHC just last week reported that there were only 67,900 units sold in a three-month period ending September 30th versus 128,000 for the three three months period the year before. That's a 47% decline. I mean, that's huge. And and, I, and the numbers I keep seeing just continue that, that move as we went into, for example, uh, you look at 2017. Yeah, no, no question. The first three months, so, so you say, well, maybe the, the quarter was an aberration, mm-hmm. but for the first three months, there was 345,700 the year before, and now there was 212,000. There's a huge impact. And I'm just wondering, I know that impact wasn't in Vancouver. It wasn't in Toronto. It was really in small town, BC, or small town Ontario, or small town Alberta. And that's sort of always the difficulty. Now, what I worry about, Mike, is we now, that was just the, the mortgage uh, stress test applied to first-time buyers. So they were insured mortgage. Mm-hmm. As of January 1, anybody that, uh, no matter how much money you have put down, 20, 30, 40 percent, now you've got to qualify uh, under the stress test as of January 1, uh, whatever that number is. So I predict interest rates will be higher. So we, if the first year mortgage, if the five year term is around four and a half or five percent, you've got to apply another two percent. Now you've got to qualify maybe at six or seven percent. And Mike, with a seven hundred thousand dollar mortgage in Vancouver, which is quite normal, you're going to knock, we think, about two hundred thousand buyers out of the market just on that part. Now you add to that the, the losses on the first time buyer market, and it's going to be an interesting year. Let me come back to something, too, is one of the things that I felt they were doing was addressing a problem that hadn't shown itself. In other words, if they're worried, you know, if maybe it's the subprime mortgage crisis hangover that we saw in the States, despite the fact there was no evidence of that kind of lending going on in Canada. But the number I kept looking at is we weren't having anybody in arrears in their mortgages. I mean, the, that, that number, like people who are having trouble with their mortgage, which is 90 days or more in arrears, just wasn't out there. Yeah, you are so right. I mean, you'd think that with all these measures that we were not being able to make our payments. But CMH says that the overall arrears rate was 0.3% in the third quarter this year, and that's actually down from 0.32% a year ago. I just wonder what those 26% rates that we have at some department stores on our credit card, what the failure rates are at those kind of rates, and here we're always attacking the mortgage market. And again, we got the Bank of Canada this week saying uh, the new stress test, as you say, Aussie, is a great distinction. Last year, it was applied to people who didn't put the 20% down, so they had to get an insured mortgage. This year, it's applying to everybody starting January 1. So we saw the Bank of Canada saying well, that's going to remove 10% of the buyers out. Saw the BC Real Estate Association, you know, speaking of Vancouver, saying, hey, look, it's going to be a tougher year in 2018. Just talked about mortgage rate increase, or sorry, interest rate increases, thanks to the big job number are seen to be coming. Yeah, Cameron Moore is the great chief economist, and he says the sort of head wins the head, and he's actually predicting that the purchasing power will be eroded by up to 20%, and he sees the five-year uh, mortgage for the, for the stress test to be at 5.15%. I think it's going to be higher, but he sort of says tongue-in-cheek, given the rapid price in, uh, rise in home prices, the effect of these factors will likely be magnified. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> you know, My goodness. On that cheery note, we, we got about a minute to give me a hot property. <laughs> well, we, last week we had three properties in uh, Kimberley, and, you know, we always get people asking for them, but, boy, there was a storm of inquiries on, you know, the condo at 68900 Yeah, We have picked another one in Kimberley now. That one is right on the hill, fabulous mountain views, balcony, floor-to-ceiling fireplace, two bedrooms and two bathrooms, 
and has a pool and a hot tub uh, in the uh, complex, and it's on at 118,000. I mean, these are smoking deals when you compare them to Whistler. You can <laughs> yeah. On door for that. Great stuff, Ozzy, as always. You go out, enjoy yourself, enjoy the skiing. And I just loved it. That, that image you gave me a week ago of Ozzy in a onesie going down a hill hasn't left me. <laughs> well, but you should see the image of me and being like Michael Jackson's thriller. The thriller is really me in, in Lederhosen dancing to thriller. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, thanks for that. Ozzy Jurek, go to jurek.com.